Hey guys, I'm Mike from Guildford Custom. I'm here at the 101 Run Chopper Show. This is the second year of the show. Super proud to be involved with the show again. Absolutely brilliant. Um, bit of a wild night last night, so uh, yeah, forgive me. A little bit hazy. Show's open. Doors are wide open. People are piling in, checking out all the motorcycles. Uh, but for you guys that can't make it, I thought we'd give you a little walk around, show you a couple of bikes. Let's go. show you this swing arm shovel owned by my friend Nick Morley. In fact Nick's hanging around. It's like it's like it's like he's just hanging around like we didn't plan it at all with his mic on but yeah. <laughs> hey Nick, how you doing? I'm good mate, you alright? Yeah not bad, not bad. 73 cone shovel. Tell yeah. us a bit about it. Uh, how long you had it? So what, I've had it, what, I, bought what it done? I bought it stock about I don't know four years ago. Took it to the hook up, played up. I think everyone had a go at kicking it. I remember we caught that all on video in that video we made, yeah. So I took it home uh, and just and just stripped it really. So I think the only only thing on it, I've got the frame and the uh, engine, everything else. We've got Mullins trees. Oh yeah, the skinny trees, and these are Barney's, aren't they? These are Barney's. Yeah, I got them yeah, from uh, Ali Choppers. Nice. Twenty three front. Twenty uh, three, man, that's cool. Yeah, not I like overcompensating that. for anything. <laughs> yeah, um, handlebars made by Chris Hatton. Yeah, they're nice, nice tuck. So a lot of the uh, a lot of the fab work was done by Dreadlock, uh, and then Bean Bean did the paint. So it's all uh, 1973 yeah. Mustang green, nice uh, with a gold leaf underneath, with a bit of candy on top. Yeah, love it, man. Keeping love it. Swing arm because I'm an old man. I need a little bit of comfort, comfort in my life. Yeah, and you got the old uh, the older style swing arm in the yeah. back here as well, rather yeah, than the later square tube ones. So yeah, yeah no, arm. really nice. And uh, then, that oil was obviously here. Already. Yeah, yeah, that that was definitely um, here already. Yeah, that's about it, really. No, it's cool, man. Thank you for showing us your bike. No Appreciate worries. it. Cheers. I'll see you around. So here with Elle, with her beautiful pan head. She's super nervous, so we'll try and be nice to her. <laughs> I've ruined you now, haven't I? Um, Swiss made, made in Switzerland. Made in Switzerland. Runs like a Swiss watch. I don't know about that. Tell me about your bike. What do you want to know? I don't want to know everything. Where did the idea come from? How did you get the bike? Because okay. this bike didn't look like this when you got it. Did no, it? it didn't. So I I got it from the US last year. Okay. And I wanted a rigid bike, and because of the Swiss laws, it needed to be a pre. 57 so I could get a rigid chopper. Okay. And then I managed to find myself a 56 in the US and it was only meant to be like a only change up a few bits and pieces. But when it arrived, it had a pacto frame. Okay. So then I ended up having to do a full rebuild. It wasn't my intention, but it was. So this frame is it's this a, a VG or is this a It's an Edland. Oh, okay, nice. A 54. Yeah. Wishbone Edland. Lovely, lovely. So you've done a lot of this stuff yourself when you had... Yes, I did. Who um, was it that was helping you with a it? A friend of mine, his name's Kriggle. Okay. Um, he used to be in all these like uh, motorcycle stuff in the 80s and everything. Oh, amazing, okay. So he, he helped me a lot with this bike. If it wasn't for him, I 100% would not have been able to do it. Yeah, no. Amazing though, mate. So, um, have you put much mileage on it yet? Or? No, none, not no. at all. I finished it two weeks ago. Yep. So still only a show bike for now. No, that's cool. So you've done all that stuff to make it fit the Swiss law. Yeah, and, and now I have to. And now you've it. moved to London. <laughs> Brilliant. I know. But that's good for us. So uh, Elle is an amazing tattoo artist, does chain stitching, stuff like that. So now we've got her in the UK. So if you're looking to call her, she's yes. amazing. Hey, look, Elle, thanks for showing us your bike, okay? Thank you so much. Cheers, mate, thank you. <laughs> So I'm here with Scott. Scott and Dean are the guys behind the 101 run. Um, Scott. Hi. Great show. Hi. I'm loving being involved as well. Thank so you that's very really much. cool. You're sitting here with your Jenny shovel. Uh, yes, yes. Tell us sir. a little bit about your bike. Um, it's a 1969 generator shovel 69. head. Yeah, it's the best year. Um, yeah, I actually got this off Dean from uh, North Carolina. Amazing. So I got it. It was all, um, it wasn't stock, it was well loved. 
but it was a bit of a state and I got it and I wasn't going to do much and yeah. then I kind of did it all. Well, I didn't do it all. Vince Summers, Barry Kay did it nice, all, mainly. Nice. I kind of just dressed it. Amazing I bike, bought the man. bits. I love this bike and uh, you probably saw this rolling on the video uh, that we put out yesterday evening. Uh, Scott rolling down the road looking cool as. Oh, so the 101 run, man, um, how did this all come about? Like, you know, because last year was brilliant. This year is even better. Yeah. Um, How did it start? We, it was in lockdown, me and Dean. We were like, we always chat anyway, and we were talking about all sorts of things. We were like, we should do a show. We missed having shows, and like no one was doing anything in the UK. Well, there's obviously there's a hookup, there's a trip out. Yeah. But we kind of just wanted to do something. So we're like, let's just do a show, get one together, get them to ride. So it was all about riding, rather than just like being at a show and looking at bikes. We wanted yeah. to get people out. Get, yeah, that was the idea. It was like a 101 mile ride from here last year. Just like get everyone together, ride, get them in the show, get your friends about. It was a and great just day as well. Like yeah, the ride like, last year was fantastic. Yeah. And, and just all... like not be too serious, just have fun with it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It came at the right time, yeah. didn't it? We all just really yeah, needed so that lovely. release yeah. at that point. Yeah. And the weather was good. Yeah. And, and it's almost like you could see that no one had seen each other for like almost two years. Yeah. So it's like seeing people you had Mate, there was so much love yeah. in the room. Yeah. It was wicked, yeah. you know, yeah, and the bikes were great and everything. Mate, you've got an amazing yeah. show. Oh, thank you. Um, it's cool to be here at Dreamland as well, where this kind of idea yeah, started. started. Yeah, this was so, the original place. So yeah, yeah it's, it's wicked. So, have you been on the Hell Scale yet? Yes, with my little Sweet. one. It's fast. Is it? It's so quick. i got to do that. Yeah. Oh, should we go on it? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. All Cheers, right. Scott. That's fine. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, man. Cheers. Mike show continues with my mates, but it's so like I said, all my mates have the coolest bikes. Um, this is my buddy James, we're here with the dirty The dirty James, tell us is. about your bike. So this bike's my first Harley, um, built it, I can't even remember when I built it, I don't know, 1950s pan head, uh, original frame, um, skinny front end, 30 freeze, made by Ali Choppers, and then IK Works Trees, um, which that's pretty cool like. Custom make exhaust, tank, oh you can't show this, but it might be blurred. Have a look on Instagram, might be some pictures on it. Yeah, I won't tell you, it's a surprise. So you've had this bike a while, it's your first bike, you've done loads of miles yeah. on it. Yeah. Um, which is, is awesome, I love this bike, I've always loved it. Um, James does something else as well, so James uh, is the guy that started the Hookup Chopper Show, I don't know if you've heard of it, if you haven't, you need to make sure you get a ticket at some point, because it sells out instantly, yeah, yeah. it's so, brilliant. Tickets, Tell us about that. Yeah, so um, Hookup Chopper Show was started in 2015, I think it was, uh, 500 people all around the world come, um, sells out within just under 24 hours, so if you do want to have a look at some really cool choppers in the yard, um, you need to get on there soon. Wicked, man. Thanks for chatting to us, James. Good, to, good to see you. Should we just do them all? <laughs> so I'm here with my good friend, Harry. Um, I've known this guy a long, long time. Just coming to look at his beautiful pan head. Harry, uh, tell us a bit about your bike. Uh, well, I bought it as a project. It came the engine and transmission on a pan head frame with Springer from end. And it was nothing like I wanted, so I sold everything apart from the engine and transmission and got it to what it is now, uh, the correct frame and everything. And so you did this in your conservatory, didn't you? Well, the latest version, yes, it was done in my conservatory with the minimum tools. I had to weld in my conservatory, grind everything, the right mess. But it is what it is. It got to be done. It got to be done. And very happy with it. Testament to where uh, to your bike though and building it. You've just been to Sweden, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, How was that? Well, that is my longest trip to date. I have done some longest trip in the past, but this one was two weeks on the road, riding and camping every day. And me and my friend Matt on his 1969 shovel head too. So, and another German friend that joined us in Germany. And it was two weeks all the way to Sweden, across, well, from Calais, France to Belgium, Holland, Germany, Denmark, and Sweden, and back. Uh, we had great weather, yeah. many, many breakdowns, 
Sounds awesome, man. Sounds awesome. And then you ended up finishing here at the 101 run. At uh, the 101, which is a privilege. Um, Amazing. I haven't been back home yet, so I'm basically still on the road with everything. Mate. That's cool. Uh, so your bag's stashed somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, man, cool. Hey, Harry, thank you so much for showing us your bike, man, and telling us a quick bit about your thank trip. You. A pleasure. Um, let's go check out some more bikes. Cheers, man. Thank you. So we just caught up with Scott and his generator shovel. Um, he's one of the organizers of the 101 run. We're here with Dean, who's one of the other organizers. Of the 101 Are you run. from the world famous Guildford? Stop it, man. Stop it. Yes, I love you. I do love you. We know that. Uh, how you doing, Dean? I'm very good. Here we are at from the Rover. Rover. Yeah. Rover from Charlotte, North Carolina. That's right. For the show. The show, and we, uh, yeah, it's a fantastic turnout. We're really, really happy with just the amount of bikes and people and good vibes. It's good really vibes good. only, good yeah. vibes only. So Scott obviously talked us through how the show came about and right. stuff like that. We had a really good time last year. I mean, it was just came at the right time, didn't it? It really Everybody did. Everybody needed it. Yeah, we needed great. it after all the COVID stuff. Yeah, it, it was good. But um, and we're ha really happy with moving the show to Margate and uh, love the building. We love the the, the atmosphere here and uh, yeah, I think it's um, it's great. We're, we're, we're stoked. We're gonna go for a swim later. Yeah. The, oh, absolutely. The beach is just out. We absolutely. need that. Skinny dipping for real. So obviously got it all set up at Dreamland, which is brilliant. This is where obviously the ride set off from last year, which was fantastic. Yep. Um, so you don't just do this. I don't. I also do Dice Magazine, which is a it's a small independent magazine for motorcycles, um, and I'm really lucky that I get to do that as a full time job. It gets you it's, travelling around the it world. It gets me travelling around the world, and I just hang out with my friends all the time. So you spend your year kind of hopping from England, America, Japan. Yeah, it's kind of Europe. And stuff I, I, like that. I do, yeah, and I get to go to a lot of shows and you know see a lot of like minded people, and it's great because it's you know what it's like. It's you don't talk about politics or religion or how much money you got, you just, everybody's just, it's all about the motorcycle. That's it, absolutely. And it's just good times, you know, so it's what we need. It's, it's, it's a bit of, it's what we need in life to keep it yeah, exciting, I, you know. The world is a small place now with social yeah, media and absolutely, and, you know, yeah. you get to know all these people and you have friends all over the place that you've never really met. Right. But I suppose the benefit for you, or the amazing thing for you, is you get to fly around I and do. actually very lucky. see people in, in person. Yeah. I get to see you a couple of times a year oh, and no, I love it. Great. That's cool. Yeah. So, thanks for chatting to us, Dean. Appreciate Just, it. Um, thought we'd give you a quick chat, and yeah, let's uh, go get a bit. Let's do it. Signature. Free. Cheers. Cheers. Super excited to show you this bike, uh, Jesus. Um, this belongs to my good friend Arnaldo, who's one of my best mates. Um, Arnie, tell us a bit about your bike. Well, it was an idea to pretty much do everything from scratch, getting every single part and put all together. Uh, it was hard for me to choose every single component the way uh, would blend all together, which is always a risk. You know, you, you maybe might be wrong with the geometries, uh, but I think it came out really good. You know, I've done a lot of research trying to find what would fit in what, and uh, came out that way. So you're running some pretty decent trick parts on it. You got the invaders, and yeah. then you is that Crow Custom? I have a, I have a Crow Custom uh, risers. That it's uh, a bar from a guy called Steven in America. Uh, Paco frame and Paco front end. Uh, yeah, SNS and primary. Uh, primary from Baker. Baker for speed. Yeah, it's it's a lot of a. Uh, Tell us a bit uh, about the paint. Where where the idea for the paint come from? Well, the idea is I play drums and I love. Uh, a brand called Pisces, which actually I have on my t-shirt, and uh, there's a model called Root Sirius, which has that sort of uh, brown, grey, uh, greenish patina on it, and I just want to match the color of the symbol. And on top of that, I decided to put, you know, a strong image of Shroud of Turing, Jesus Christ, painted on the tank by Stig, actually, uh, the guy that painted the, the, the whole bike. So we've done quite a lot of miles together. I've been next to yeah. this bike. It's uh, it's loud, obnoxious. Uh, Arnie lives in central London, and um, as you can see, this is foot clutch, hand change, no front brake. I've seen this guy ripping through so many gaps, <laughs> buses, Uber drivers. You're yeah. gone. No, it's cool. 
Thanks for showing us your bike, guys. Oh, Appreciate yeah, it, man. Thanks for Thank having you. me here. No worries, Appreciate you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you all. At this point, we've come to my favourite bike in the show, uh, this 1977 Shovelhead. Um, the reason it's a favourite bike, it's my bike. So uh, check it out. We've got a uh, 33.4 front end, hamburger drum, um, cast riser with the dog bones and drags, custom paint by Image Design Custom. They do all our paint work for Guildford Custom. Uh, we've got a seat that came all the way from Thailand, cool up sweet pipes, Juice drum in the rear. A um, lot, uh, lot of love went into this. You know, it's, it's nice to do stuff with your friends as well. So, big shout out to my buddy Wade Paulson. Uh, he helped me put a lot of this, well, he put this together for me uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, yeah, banging bike, banging. Reese. What do we have here? It's a 1941 EL Knucklehead, um, original frame, 1940 frame, uh, 1940 transmission, um, what else is cool on it? Uh, City Bar was built in the 60s, um, it's got survey car trees, which are a bit different, so just, yeah, so, absolutely. quite cool, um, 10 over front end, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much all, all she wrote with it. It's wicked. Tell us a bit about this paint scheme as well. How'd you come up with this idea? Oh, so um, the bike, the bike was called Paradise Lost based on the poem, the old poem. So the tank I had previously had the snake, but obviously the poem is about the devil. I got Sammy Grace. Don't go to paint this. Yeah. And I thought, you know, and this is um, a David Mann piece, or based on a David Mann piece originally. Amazing. So. Yeah, fantastic. So, it's so. nice just to incorporate all this stuff that has a historical tie exactly. to exactly yeah. the motorcycle culture, exactly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is an amazing bike, and I mean, how old is this bike now? 81 years. 81 years old, yeah. and I mean, I you ride this thing a lot, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know. Um, I um, I got it in 2020, so basically I sold my flathead for the engine, so I swapped the engine for a whole bike, imported that, bought the frame myself, bought the bits, put it together during lockdown. Um, I built the whole bike in three days, and then it took me four months to get it running properly because I had intake leaks and the same old but uh, you know. That, that, you know, that happens though. So, pretty much sourcing all of these parts at the right years and stuff yeah. is quite difficult. Yeah, it's, I, I was collecting stuff for about two years before I put it together, so. Wow. Yeah. Man, long time. Yeah, yeah. This is one of my favorite bikes in the show, uh, not just because it's Reese's, because it's awesome. Um, thanks for showing us your bike, man. No thanks very much. Cheers, Cheers man. Thanks for joining me here at the second edition of the 101 Run Chopper Show here at Dreamland in Margate. I've had an amazing day. So nice to just catch up with all my friends, meet new people, new faces, and see all these amazing bikes that people have been working on over the winter. And check out all the stuff that's coming up on our social media feeds and obviously on our YouTube channel very soon. See you later.